So in the evening, we would recommend, um, so kind of getting rid of screens if possible. And we know that's not always realistic, but it, preferably in the hour before bed, we would hope that there were no screens. And it's not about just getting rid of something, it's about trying to replace it with something else. So perhaps board games or family time of, of some description. And um, we've certainly found in clinic that often um, we would suggest getting rid of a smart device and no one else, they, the parents might say, yeah, that's right. Now the doctor's saying to do this, so do it. But then we'd say, no, everyone, everyone needs to do this because we learn by example. And sometimes parents say, but I couldn't possibly do that. And then it's kind of negotiating that because it can be um, really hard to change habits for the family but sometimes having a, a family charging station that everyone uses and at a certain time everyone just puts their devices in can kind of send that message of this is it we're all doing this and um, sometimes things can arise with devices kind of when you want to take a device off your child that uh, it can be a bit of a flashpoint for uh, conflict or the child getting upset having maybe having a, a meltdown and actually what I was doing a talk at a National Autistic Society event and one of the parents had a brilliant idea that um, we've, we've found really helpful. It is there's some apps that um, you can put on the devices that just set the timer. And so the device says, I'm turning off in five minutes, I'm turning off in four minutes. So it's not the parent saying it, it's the device. And that seems to sometimes be a lot more acceptable for a child than a parent saying, right, we're done. It's uh, time to put that away. So that might be something to think about. So we know that if you have a device in your room overnight, that's bad news for sleep. It takes longer to get to sleep. You don't sleep as long and you have more daytime sleepiness. And this is in typically developing children. They looked at the sleep of 125,000 children, but they did a subset and looked at children who had a phone in the room, but they didn't use it at night. And on average, they slept for one hour less. So there's just something that phones, smart devices do that isn't great for sleep. So that's why we'd recommend getting the phone out and in, if an alarm is needed, getting a clock radio if possible um, to replace it. 